Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the Republic of Venice. And in this episode we are destroying a, a Mughal Empire force that's landed to try and take the city of Naples from us. So we're going to kill them and hopefully push them north towards the Italian states to make them something they have to deal with. So let's get cracking. It's mostly a melee army, so we should be okay as long as we maximize the use of our firepower and we make sure that we don't do anything daft like charge straight in we got some cavalry this army may end up being um condensed and then condensed down rather than being directly reinforced um, but then we really need to start to figure out what our future plan is going to be because right now we're in a bit of an awkward spot. A real awkward spot. Right, so we do not want to fight in the town. Even though we attack them, we do not want to fight in that town. So we're going to sit back. Form a mighty musket line. Force them to come to us. Let's just get my general more in the centre on the high ground. So we're going to engage their 12 pounder foot artillery as best as we can. Although it looks like they are redeploying. Looks like, yeah, they want to fight on the... over here, which is fine by us. Let's advance towards them, see if we can provoke them into manoeuvring. Actually, let's be a bit risky with my cavalry. See if we can get in here and cut up these guns. their line. Just want to see if I can scoot up here. I mean, any artillery we take out is better for us. Come on, take him out. Push on and attack the other main body then. If we can't deal with take take out that gun, push on and attack the rest. They are panicking a bit. Go on, get in there. Even if they put a volley into us, it's fine. Kill that last gunner. Come on, quickly. Go after that gunner. Try run away. Infantry line run into position. They now have the they do not have the artillery advantage. Kill that last gunner, which was their commander, and then run like mad back to our line. Excellent. Start to focus on bombarding their cavalry.
ready and fire. Yeah, we can should we chase them off? Gunners, engage the camels. Slightly adjust our angle because it appears they are not as interested to fight out in the open here anymore. And let's make sure we are. Okay, re engage the Kizobashi cavalry. I mean, if we had quick line, that's a beautiful target. Camels are still broken, but they will come back. That's right, ride, al ride along our line. Advancing in again. Which is perfect. Here comes enemy cavalry on the right. Start attacking kinda whoever now. It's definitely their cavalry that, that we want to focus on. There we go. Now they're starting to commit. Well, yeah, here they come. Yeah, they're broken. Here's a block of Moogle troops heading our way. Dervishes, Hindu warriors, bowmen. Now, just within range. Keep shooting at them because they're stationary. They'll come back. They've not lost many men. You can't sit back and what? You can't sit back. You have to advance. Yeah, there they go, they came back. Folks, you fire on them. I mean, I'm happy to take this battle a, a bit slower to force the enemy to come into me, because they, they do outnumber us. We need to make sure we fight smart. Advancing through the town like this is a really bad idea for me. That building took a shot for you. Shattered. Perfect. Engage the Desert Warriors in the centre. up on this flank. They're firing. Don't think it's going to do enough. The 13th Regiment of Artillery has an angle. OK, 
they keep focusing on their mount element again. start to engage the dervishes and as we can start to do that we can slowly ratchet up the pressure around their their right flank there's a warriors are coming back slaughter them do something because otherwise there's pikemen here that want to say hello yeah you gotta be careful which way you advance because you're gonna advance out from one from behind one area into muskets of another although you're, you, although you're not in a great position to engage Artillery to focus on the horsemen. Pikemen chase down the camel gunners. Okay, they want to charge these guys. Ah, oh, you're still reloading. They've decided they don't want to do that again. There we go. We got we caught their their cavalry, their pike, their um, camels in the open. They're now shattered. Excellent. Push two units forward here. We do need to be careful because if they just suddenly surge through the town towards us, we're not going to have the, the firepower we want to chase them off. So we need to slowly push back. Push back their troops where it makes the most sense to do so. Still around and kicking. Yeah, the dervishes are coming back. Okay, my artillery can now just start focusing on their just blocks of infantry. Just start hitting them. Excellent. I get four units of line infantry up here rapidly. Good, they're funneling towards our line in the centre. Starting to creep their way around our flank. Limber out the guns. Just so they don't catch us out quite so easily. Dervishes. They may attempt to try and support their 
the soldiers in the front. Okay, you guys pivot. Bring out the Hussars. Excellent. Push my pikes down. Okay, count on my pikes and my line infantry breaking these dervishes down pretty rapidly. Get my general over here quickly. They're losing a lot of men very fast. Okay, General, pursue the dervishes. Their uncontrollable swath of troops now looks mighty vulnerable. Okay, focus on the Indian Infantry Guards now because they are the elite infantry. Let's begin to advance up and plug holes in the town. Hillary now could have stayed where it was. The Indian Infantry Guards are split up, as have the Dervishes, so that will impact our ability to knock them out. Our defensive position here is going to hold strong. It's not a terrible firing position. That's not great. What is that? You take that. Okay, I think my original plan was not um ambitious enough. We need to secure greater swaths of territory. Two dervishes left. Take them down and go after that unit of dervishes. This is my main line. Just hold. Reinforcements are coming. Oh, there they go. There they go. Engage the levee back, in there, back there. Excellent, yeah. We've, so th that unit's completely broken. Um, but we need to keep the the pressure up because they are likely to come back. So we need to push up, secure the territory. Handful of infantry guards left. They're just streaming back. Even the levee that's in good condition is falling back. Probably going to try and go around here.
There we go, they're slowly starting to come back. Nope, you don't need to take that barn anymore. Dervish has managed to escape. Unfortunate, but get over here. How can you got one last Indian guardsman to kill? There you go, the levy's in position. You men might have a chance to put one volley of musketry in. Try break that lever unit quickly because our line is currently well it's not in trouble there we go see these brave brave indian men are just being slaughtered on a battlefield far from home for what let's get ready to get set up against that unit of bowmen Engage him with the artillery. Excellent, we got rid of those guard infantry. Yeah, but these men are going to just try desperately to reload. That levy unit shattered. In comes the general. Another unit's come back. Keep on attacking. But yeah, this is sort of showing what I mean about when I say make sure you take the ground, otherwise when they come back you're just even more spread out in a terrible position. The light horse tired, they're desperately trying to get over here. I suppose it is the bowman you want to really kill. The Levian challenge. There they are with their pikes. Muskets at the ready. Damn fools! Why did you why did you come over here to attack us? Why? Why? Nice though, good kills, very good kills, excellent. God, ten to one or better. So they've been pushed back. Let's push up to try and secure Naples. Let's take our... Uh, this unit. And just fold them in to other units. Just try top them up. Excellent. There we go. Our army's just in great shape. So you've been quite badly damaged. Big mistake, buddy O. 2,400. Let's repair these buildings that were damaged by the Polish. I am not at all interested in pushing into Warsaw because that gets us a border with Russia. At least not for the time being. I do still want to bolster my, my economy. It's tricky to work out how to do that. Tripoli is possible. Ultimately, more war with Spain may end up being the next logical thing to do. They're allied with Russia and Genoa. That's the problem, though. We're in an awkward position here. We don't. We've got a very long, disjointed empire with lots of frontier country, and every 
it feels like most of our avenues of expansion are consist of blocks of enemies. It's very, very awkward. We're at a point. Yeah, I need I need quick lime. Um, yeah, they're gonna try and attack the city, but we've got a reasonable garrison here, and we've got our whopping great big army. So we're gonna bring them in. Let's get busy. Okay. So this army is... They are intended to, to hold. Not to win, but to hold. So we're going to pull back to give ourselves a bit of an opportunity. How it's is up on the top. Oh, whoops. Left a... This unit's a bit exposed, but look! We're being reinforced from directly behind us. You idiots. Field artillery engage as you please. comes the ranks of Venetian infantry. They're going to they're going to immediately take the positions of the armed citizenry. Attempt to just actually pull the armed citizenry back completely. See we've currently achieved zero kills with our mortars. Classic. Get the guns up. Get my infantry up. Then we'll really start to hammer them. Their cavalry is what's advancing, but it's in a weak it's in a weak state. I suppose it was a bit short, so I could really throw my infantry out to the side like that. They're still going to put up, be able to put up some defence. foot artillery gets into position that's going to be pretty useful and they've got a hard limit they're advancing in they're advancing towards us slowly which is great of distance for my infantry to cover to get into position. general does not want any part of this they've gone all the way back here and gone you know what you guys you guys got this right like, yeah we got this actually let's put set my these troops back a bit let's 
so I can see how my line's developing. You know. Excellent. So my army's almost is gonna be almost fully deployed before they even get here. It's going to be even better once our foot artillery is in position, because that's we're going to punish them so much more for doing that. Open fire on whatever targets you like. I mean, I say that. Engaging their camel gunners. I mean, yeah, just just let them shoot at whatever they want, really. Here they come. It's awfully nice of them to wait until we are ready. I mean, you can actually feasibly shoot over the heads of the line. That's right, you better run. Horsemen's coming in. They're going to get some bow shots off of this. Shot the officer off his horse. Look at that. That's beautiful. Artillery, infantry, infantry. Gunners, blast them. Reload. Yep, the camels are out of there. Yeah, we're still picking people off their horses. That's fine. Yep, still in. Yep, there go the dervishes. The entire line is in retreat, except for these desert warriors. Excellent. Desert warriors, plus their general is sat at the back. They're advancing. No, nope, they've had enough. Artillery engage the general to the rear. My armed citizenry are against the Hindu warriors. They've got a f they've, 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 they've whittled them down. Yeah, you better run. Artillery engage the bowmen. General's advancing up into the line. I'm going to speed this up. <laughs> right now, it's just the general here going, hmm, this doesn't look good, does it? Focus on them with artillery. Good hits with our muskets. Can't deal with much more of that. And it's everybody engaging the dervishes. Could commit the cavalry, but you know what? Let's just let the let the artillery do some good stuff. Well, I might have to commit the cavalry though, because they might otherwise. Oh no, they're coming. I think they're following the same route as the bowmen did. Volley's going in. Nice. Yep, that's the end of that. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? Actually, I might just chop up this unit of dervishes. Every little helps. Excellent. 
everyone else will, will escape, and that's fine, but let's just chop up one unit of dervishes. Got their captain. Two dervishes left. And they are destroyed. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Garrison has quitted itself commendably. There goes the Italian state. They're going to attack the fleet. They are. It cost them a lot of ships. And the Italians have wiped out the rest of the army. Excellent. I mean, I must admit, the Italian states are probably a very logical um, route to progress. Take Rome. Then maybe try and secure the rest of the Italian peninsula. A Catholic missionary in Hungary. That's pretty neat. Let's send you... Okay, I'm going to send you to Sofia. Let's get this agent over here and see if I can use that to tip the balance of converting people in Ankara. 9,200. That's pretty nice. Okay, let's... So right now, our empire is reasonably secure. Let's invest in our economy. Probably try go with some of the cheaper wins first, I think. So first of all, we signed Peace of Corlin, which is fine. We weren't really at war with them anyway. We will try... They wouldn't uh, make peace with us anyway. The Ottomans won't trade with us. And we have an election. Everyone's pretty good anyway. So you know what? You're pr I'm pretty happy with that. Let's leave it as is. Verona is still in... Up upgrade is still in build. Let's recruit a line infantry unit to garrison Venice. I don't really want Konya going after wedge formation. Probably. Well, I mean, I may as well. I don't really want to. I don't want to waste Verona's time researching things like wedge, and that plus one to command is pretty handy. Let's hit in turn. Yeah, I have no intention of advancing north into Central Europe. I want to support the Austrians, and if it means that they've got a a secure southern and eastern flank, that's great. But what I'm not interested in is getting involved in a massive war in Central Europe. I mean, the Ottomans are a natural possible enemy. Then we have to be ready to start fighting in the Middle East. I think I have to slowly start building up my navy. A suspicious death. So there's a rake wandering around here somewhere. Serbia's still converting. Slowly, but surely they're making progress. Let's... So like we've done before... We're going to take an, a component of this army. Not necessarily all of it, but just a component of it. Get them into get them into here. Just enough to spook them a bit. Probably want to get the House of Representatives. Because we've got a lot of cash. Thousand left over. It's probably going to be farm upgrades if we can get them elsewhere. Let's see if this agent can tip the balance in our favour. Apparently not. Still plus 0.1 percent. Okay, might end up upgrading these church schools to see if that'll help. 
Let's upgrade this farmland in Hungary. Because Hungary's got another two towns it can develop. But the towns aren't yet growing. Oh yeah, so we've finished building this church school, but we want to upgrade it, I think. Cool, uh, just a second, guys. And I'm back. Uh, but yeah, I think we still need to just, just keep on investing in our economy. We're in a good position. We haven't got to worry about it a huge amount. If Austria elects to get more offensive, that would be super. Ooh, they want to pay, pay us for trade. I mean, yeah... Th Ottomans are a natural possible enemy because they are also allied with Poland and Prussia, so we're already at war with two of their major allies. They're also at war with Persia, though, and Persia brings in lots of just stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks of troops. You know, they're very much a more a horde-like force in Empire, so I want to get more better technologies to cut them all down, I think. Wedge formation, so that's been got. Cadence marching, no, don't worry about that. Get on with four field crop rotation. We need our ter we need our uh, actually Maybe go with Sexton. We need to start recruiting some naval tech. So right now we are picking at the leftovers of anyone that's not Islamic. We're kind of fighting over them. Religious unrest is going down. I'm hoping if we get the get those church schools built, we'll start winning that challenge. Let's get a couple of state capitals built, so then those are just those are done. Prussia's still picking their way through the Ottoman, uh, the uh, Austrian territories over there. We've got a cool grand that we can't yet spend on anything, except for upgrading this church school, which we're not really that bothered about. You're slowly chipping away at converting the population, and that is just fine. Same with you. I mean, the people in government, they really don't like. Uh, right, right, right. So one more turn till we get machine tools. That's great. We could potentially get steam engine, which would be significant in terms of wealth generation. So I think we might be, might be doing that. It's a flat wealth generated by all industrial buildings, which is pretty awesome. 11 turns till Skopje. Skopje, however it's pronounced, develops. Good old Austria. So the Dutch have taken Cuba. I mean, now might be a time to start... Ooh, not a war with the Russians, but the fact they're showing up is a bit spooky. But yeah, I want to get my get my economy in a better position than it, is, than it is now. I really just... Structurally, the more tax we can get, the more of a dependable income we can get every turn and not be as badly knackered if our ports get blockaded. Machine tools is great. 9,000 a turn. That's good. We're exporting a lot of cotton. I have forgotten about Cairo, really. So let's spend some money in Cairo. Something like that would work. We've got a rake down here. Send him over to Baghdad. Oh, yeah, that was that was just now. Mon University is done. 
which is super. That gets us a whole new load of technologies. And we may actually go for secular humanism immediately because it's minus 50% to religious unrest, which is pretty big. Especially because we've got a lot of a lot of mixed cultures around here. We need to start making things a bit better. But yes, I do not want to push into Central Europe for any, for any reason. I mean, Russia, who are you at war with? Prussia. So you're going to push forward into Prussia, which is fine. So if you're the Ottomans... If I go, if, well, to be honest, if I get turn, if I end up needing to declare war on the Ottomans, the only new enemy I have is Persia, and that's not bad because they at least have to march through the Baghdad, the Ottoman territory, to get to me. But yes, there are. They have a large concentration of forces, and at the very least, I need this army at Ankara to be more available than it currently is, and that involves dealing with this religious unrest problem. I could build a garrison with um I could build a garrison with dragoons and so on, but that's another cost. Yeah, they've they rush his turn around. Italian states, just quite a big pustule. If we took Rome, we'd be in a really good position, but it depends on what. I'm allied with the Italian states, and they've done really quite well. They're building a navy that I've not got. So I don't necessarily want to throw that away. Excellent. Catholicism is up. We've managed... So upgrading those has managed to break the back of the that enemy agent at which point well that five turn that's still a good upgrade to cut religious unrest in half although actually it's going to go down by quite a lot anyway that's not as big of a deal then um free trade doctrine infantry cost infantry recruitment goes down i guess citizenship Free trade doctrine, bigger port. I can upgrade my Venetian port to be even bigger. At which point, I may actually now upgrade the school here, because we can. We'll start to. Uh, we will start to get a bit. Be a bit. Uh, with less vigils and rest, will be things will be a bit better. Let's upgrade the pleasure gardens here. Uh, four thousand four hundred. Great, the government building in Petras. Austria looks like they finally dealt with this. I've got a really quite good army, actually. That's fine. That is absolutely fine. I am more than happy to sit here and build up. Let's get a fifth ray ship of the line. But yeah, those those church upgrades super because it means that we'll start to, well, yeah, that agent now is useless. He is not helping the Ottoman cause at all. Yeah, one more turn till sextant. Yeah, one thing I do want to make sure of really is that we are still driving our advance towards quicklime. Make sure that I'm building all of the right military buildings that we're making that happen. And 13 colonies are still doing alright. I mean, no one's consolidated their control over Europe, yeah, it's all still the Cherokee is still alive, the Iroquois is still alive, the French and the 13 colonies, everyone's kind of kicking around still.
Wait, Bavaria's at war with Austria? God damn it, Austria, you were doing so well. I mean, if you took Bavaria, that'd be really interesting. Right, so we've got Sextant. 9,600. Okay, let's get... Port upgrades are expensive, but they're really good. Let's try and get some of these cheaper port upgrades, because we've currently got a couple of options. Go get some cheap ones. Let's build a seminary, just to get that religious happiness. So that when we build a school, we've got even more um, stuff promoting a positive public order scenario. Yeah, right now we are just cranking through the turns right now because it's kind of the best thing for us to do at this point, I think. I might get Konya to actually go on to new model bayonet drill because we need to start getting down here towards quicklime as a strategic necessity. Or... No, Konya is not well placed to go after these high level techs. We need to make sure that we are... Yeah, we, we need a quick climb. We're, we need, we're at a point where we need to make sure we... We need to make sure that we keep... That we are maximising our firepower against all of our enemies. Well, like, there, there's a time when, earlier on, when we had plenty of infantry, we had fire by rank. Now we're not... We, we aren't getting that. We now need to make sure we are as efficient at killing the enemy as possible because we will be increasingly called upon to do some not very nice things against factions which are a lot more economically productive than ours at least at the, at least at the time being at the current time at the time being jesus oh no don't go for in bavaria don't go for the austrians 1,600. Okay. So you're producing... It's not max... It's not the maximum amount of corn we can produce, but you're producing as much as we currently can. Okay, let's upgrade the port at Toronto. Because right now we are, yeah, our income tax, our income tax does not, a tax income does not yet cover our upkeep. So, I mean, we're over 10,000. Your trade is definitely, definitely worth having. have a look at our lists and I'll, i think our most valuable region is hey it is now venice venice has tipped the balance um but venice is growing at 57 a turn naples is growing at 56 a turn so yep yeah. venice is now th is back is back on top as my most powerful region but it's my most most valuable region, but that can change. I mean, Athens. I need I need to boost Athens a bit, and Istanbul also needs to be boosted. It is not growing as much as I would like. see if Russia advances towards Prussia because then that's not that's not necessarily terrible for us we just need to be ready to understand what the implications are if they if Russia does end up being more involved in our affairs but yeah the Ottomans are the most natural are still the most natural expansion point I am just 
reluctant to jump on that train when things are still quite stable and we're able to get some really good port upgrades and economy upgrades and everything's just everything's going quite well you know let's take advantage of the benefit that we've got while we've got it I mean, that fleet could easily spin around and start blockading us. <laughs> 10,000. Capitals are being built. Okay, let's get some road upgrades done. Because we need to get... Well, we are going to reach a point, but we're going to need... We're going to have to start moving troops around rapidly. 1900. Okay, I think their Imam just got a bit better. Do we upgrade one Jesuit college just to try and boost the conversion? Maybe. Sickly. One of my agents is just a bit poorly. So we can't upgrade the army board until we get reorganised procurement. We can't upgrade the ordnance factory. Oh no, we, we can upgrade the great arsenal. Then we'll want that. Okay. I mean, look at three Ottoman stacks. And the thing is, they're either, they are going to either... Oh, no. No! Austria, no! No! I spent so long keeping them in. Oh, no. We're going to be at war in Central Europe. Because I can't let them get away with that. No way. No way can I let Russia keep that. Our empire is now split. Sorry, Russia. We're going to have to attack you. Very well. This army is just going to push out of Hungary. You're going to get into Hungary. Wait, Austria still exists? <gasps> North, North Africa. So... This is going to be dicey, but I'm going to have to call my allies in. Genoa didn't join us. They've been joined by all of theirs. Including Spain. Which is in of itself not terrible. It does open up to some of their other, other territories to be exploited. We've lost a trade. Okay, right. First of all, Prussia. Peace with Prussia. Finally. Because we don't care. We don't care what Prussia's doing. Russia is their enemy. Is, is, is their enemy as much as they are ours. Um, let's take... Assedio in corso. Pronti. In attesa di marcia. Let's... Insediamento sotto assedio. In marcha. In attesa di Let's do a bit of a swap. We're not going to assault the city. We're going to keep it under siege. Ultimately, I might actually see if I can... Perfect. So we can take Austria. We can fortify this as our border. And then we can focus on Spain. Take out Milan, Tunis, Cagliari, Tripoli... That's a decent little expansion proposal right there for nine thousand nine and a half grand. We could do something with this. I want more conscripts to bolster this army at Venice because they're cheap and the Spanish army here is rubbish. I am probably not going to give Austria Vienna back to Austria though. I mean, I, meh. I know because they're at war with everybody.
They're at war with Spain, so Austria is probably going to get killed because they are either they're surrounded by Spanish territories. Yeah, no, sorry, Austria. I tried to keep you alive as long as I possibly could, but you were determined, determined to not use your armies effectively. And as a result, we were required to take steps. So you got upgraded to a college. You're still happy. Your production's a bit better. We're going to get free trade doctrine next turn. That's pretty awesome. Alfonso Marini, the naval surveyor. Is that my naval minister? He is! Excellent! Yeah, it's, it's not that I want to be at war with Russia. We just kind of don't really have a choice. And I may actually have to attack the city if Prussia comes in and tries to nick my... Nick Austria from me. That's true, I need to take it before Austria gets involved, before um, Prussia gets involved. Because if Prussia takes it, I need to declare war on Prussia after that. Whereas ideally, I'll take the city quickly and then... And then my northern flank is secure. And then I've got Austria, which is a very powerful, uh, a very wealthy region, kind of. I mean, I'm a bit vulnerable. To the west free trade doctrine excellent get on with classical economics just get our philosophical texts make them top tier maximize our enlightenment growth that's what we want that's what i want right so upgrade you to a global trading company Gonna suck up an entire turn's income. Although I suppose it is probably I'm probably better off upgrading two more put two smaller ports elsewhere, particularly Greece and Istanbul. You're not close enough to to step in yet, and I don't think you would win either. Although, I think I do need to... I need, do need to get stuck in. In which case, then, let's cancel the construction at Thessaloniki. So I've got 5,200. We are going to attack the garrison at Vienna. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of the, <laughs> the capital of our former allies, uh, Austria. And do we also get their university? Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Let's see you next time.